there are three things that you always need to keep in mind and are the basis for any disciplinary action. You need to make sure that you are proving the action based on a preponderance of the evidence. Now I'm sure you know we've all watched those uh, cop and robber shows on TV or the detective shows and we've heard that term of preponderance of evidence. Um, what that means, the legal term in this case, is that there's a degree of relevance to the, to the uh, information and the evidence that you have in which a reasonable person, considering all of the information you've provided, um, would find is more likely to be true than untrue. So typically there's not just one thing that's going to make or break your case. You the HR folks, your supervisors, and any type of third party wants to make sure they're looking at the evidence as a whole. So all of the evidence, not just one thing. The second thing that you need to do is to establish a nexus or a connection to the job. You've probably heard that word nexus. Sounds pretty official. Basically what it means is that there needs to be some connection to the employee's job. Whatever they did wrong is somehow affecting their job. Okay. The third thing is you need to show that any action, if you're taking a disciplinary action, that it promotes the efficiency of the service.